Hi guys! Hi, how are you? I'm freaking stoked to play Pikmin 4 today. We're on episode 3. Thank you, thank you. Hello, okay. hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Von Noodles. We're gonna go back to the previous area. We were just kind of messing around in Blossom Arcadia. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> so let's go back to that. Um, <laughs> We have not 100% any of the places so far. Gosh, that is so tempting. I really wanna go here. Urgh. Okay, okay, but Okay, I said that I was gonna go to Sun Speckle Terrace, so that is what I'm gonna freaking do, okay? <laughs> I'm not gonna go back on my word. I'm gonna keep my word. I'm going back here. It's only 37% finished. Come on, I have to go back. We've got caves to explore, don't we? Let's see. Oh, uh, we already did that one. We already did this one. Uh, wow. What the heck? Why did I come here? Oh, I guess we have this gate right here. We'll tear down that gate. That gate's gonna be history. Wait, hold up, hold up. Yo, I totally forgot we couldn't get that one piece in that one cave. Let's get that real quick. There she is. Not escaping me this time. <laughs> And that is all we're coming in here for. Just for you, miss. Just for you, ma'am. You are not escaping me. You've been in this drafty little area far too long. Oh my god, look. There is more ice Pikmin. You can just come back down here and get more of them, little... I was gonna say fucks, but... <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. I am not gonna say that. <laughs> No one was rescued, except for Miss Ma'am over here, Mama Doll Head. There we go, 100%, investigation complete. Very nice. Well done, everybody. What is this? Hold up, oh my god, hold the phone. Is that a blue onion? That is a blue onion, y'all. We need to go over there. We need to get over there right now. We need 30 of them ice pikmen. Let's get them. Let's get them real quick. Okay, everybody in the water, freeze this bitch up. <laughs> Take a little dive. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you have it. Wait, where am I going? Where am I going? This is the wrong way. Oh my gosh. We gotta build this first, dang it. Oh my gosh, hurry up and build it then. Everybody, get out of the water. Let's go. Onions really do come in all kinds of different colors. Could there be one for every pigment type? So, huh. This is real interesting. I do not have enough Pikmin to... Oh wait, they can use that! They can use that! Okay, I'm tripping. Okay, okay. <laughs> everybody, everybody get this. Everybody get this. Whoa, 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 whoa! Look, it's moss! We need to get over there. It is moss just hanging out with Red Yeti over there that's possibly Captain Olimar. Don't be silly! Look! There is literally a- Look, 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 I show you, I show you. Look, see? See, you just come over here. No big fucking deal, come on now. Oh my goodness. What a bunch of sissy lalas. Okay, okay, okay. Jesus. You're telling me we can't get this thing right here? Is that what you're telling me right now? We cannot get this right now because y'all are too scared of some water? Come on now. Gosh darn it. Oh, I know. I know, I know. I can... Here, I'll call y'all real quick. Get that. Get that across the fucking water before it melts. Everybody get that across the water. The water's gonna break, damn it. Uh-oh. Oops. 
Y'all look ridiculous. Okay, fine. I guess we just can't get it. Not yet. Until we get another frolic onion, which is probably around on the map somewhere. Yep, I see one right there. Let's just get that real quick, and then we can get the blue onion. Yeah, sound like a plan? Good. Oh, yeah. Boy. The number of Pikmin you can withdraw increased by 10 again. This makes me want to feed that onion even more. Okay, everybody, in the water, in the water. Oh, freaking snap. I just made a freaking oopsie. <laughs> I made a big freaking oopsie. Oh, no. Oh, no. How am I supposed to get this if it's encased in the freaking ice? Oh, man, I made a big oops. Y'all, I didn't think that through. Oh, no. Okay, so <laughs> what should we do? Because <laughs> I don't freaking know. I really screwed up, didn't I? <sighs> you know what? I thought this could be resolved from just finding a simple frolic, but no, I made it really difficult on myself. Um, now I have to go search for blue Pikmin. <laughs> <laughs> to help me get that thing out of the water, dang it. God, I'm punching the air right now. You know what? Maybe it will be reset the next day. I don't know, but it might be. <laughs> I'm I'm wishful thinking right now, okay? Ooh. Ooh. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Guys, get the beetle, not the stuff he's shitting. Come on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nobody grab anything, okay? We're not here to grab his droppings, okay? Let's get rid of these guys real quick. There we go, there we go. Move the base real quick. Okay, so we didn't really do very much except Retrieve, you know, Mama Drama from the cave. That dreary, wet cave. <laughs> we fucked up getting the blue onion. And we made some more yellow pigmen. Uh, I wouldn't call that a wasteful day. Sorta? I don't know. It feels a little bit wasteful in my eyes. But you know what? I'm, I'm thinking positive. Hmm, no matter how much I look at them, I'm still confounded. These treasures are mysterious things. Indeed, who made them and for what possible purpose? Think back to that treasure we found the first day, the stone advancement. It was able to open and close, right? Maybe it was intended as some sort of makeshift shelter to protect its creator from the wind and the rain. Interesting theory, though likely incorrect. You know what? I haven't spoken to this person. My name's Dalmo. The moment I heard about the creatures of this plant, I knew I had to come learn more about them. I dream of compiling everything we learn about the ecology of each fierce little darling here into some kind of field guide. Dang, we did see a lot of them, didn't we? This thing is called a Tusk Blowhog, huh? Oh, what is this thing? Sun Squish? Yeah, that sounds about right. What about this nucleus, dude? A Fulix. Uh, I like nucleus. Waddle quaff. <laughs> Waddle quaff? Oh, what was this? Creeping chrysanthemum. Yeah, no joke. He really was creeping. Dude, this thing's ugly. Midtite? Yeah, no wonder those pigmen were like all over the place when they saw him. Okay, Kingsley. It's been intense, but I can't just give up completely. I still want to leave this plant more flower than it was when I got here. That's where you come in. You gotta help me bloom a whole lot of Pikmin flowers. Let's fill this world with blossoms. <laughs> well, do this for me, and I'll give you my glorious stone collection. What do you say? We got a deal? Uh, sure. We gotta bloom Pikmin flowers, y'all. We are back. And, um... I kind of already forgot what we were doing, but it's okay. I'll figure it out on the fly. Oh, look at that pumpkin! We are so getting you. And look, we are so getting you too! Moss, don't you ever think you're safe from me. 
Come here, pumpkin. Oh man, you are a heavy Betty. You know, Halloween is coming up. Do you guys carve pumpkins? And if you do carve pumpkins, are you good at it? Guys, I have a confession to make. I have never really carved a pumpkin in my life. I've only like painted them, not carved them because Either my parents were like, oh, that's a waste of money. You can just buy one yourself and paint it. We don't need the tools for it or anything. It was so boring, but you know what? It, I, didn't, I don't know. I guess painting was, painting was okay for me. I much rather carved it, but you know, I guess it was safer. Okay, Moss. What are you doing, what? Yeti? It's that leafling. Be careful. That could be the one who attacked Dingo. Yeah, that's definitely them. Which means that could be Bernard on the ground next to them. Oh, Yeti doesn't have anything to say. Whoever it is, we can't let them get turned into a leafling. Follow them. Oh, he's doing another challenge. Bring it on. So, you have come again. Those who do not embrace Dandery cannot survive this planet, but if they grow the leaves, we can return them to life. I will determine if you have the strength to save them with a Dandery battle. But this time, there will be one more rule. Bring it. Whoa, this is a new area. One must be ready to change tactics at a moment's notice. This round, an object or creature's value can increase for a brief window. These higher values make them bonus finds. When you transport and collect the bonus finds, you earn double the points. Do you think you can out dandery me? Bring it on, furry red dude. Oh, you thought? Well, I want to get this dude. Screw you. I want to get him. You guys back off. Oh, wait, I totally forgot that we just. Oh my god! Oh my god, get off of me! Get off! Oh my god, you're attacking my Ochi. Not cool. <laughs> These guys are just laying here dead. <laughs> oh, Yeti! Come get your Pikmin. <laughs> Look at this lead that I have. Crazy. Look, let's get a, a lime. Let's get this lime. It's three times the points. Oh my god, he's catching up to me. You know what? <laughs> I want this apple. How about I steal this apple? Yeah? No, 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 no. Give back that, that, that apple. Give me that apple. Yeah! Take the apple! Take the apple! Oh, wow. We crushed them. We freaking crushed them. Can we get the apple in there? Come on. Dang it. We didn't get the freaking apple in there. Oh. But you know what? I have once again emerged victorious. Suck on it, Red Yeti. Again, you have shown mastery in the art of dandery. I leave the rest to you. <laughs> oh man. I love these. These are fun. Look at this guy. He's just dancing over here. Like, whoa, nobody can get me. Another leafy castaway. Hopefully their ID will tell us something. Negatory. No luck. Could the leaves be causing this error? Oh yes, we were checking to see if that onion is still in the water. Fuck! It's still in the water! Dang it. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to find more blue Pikmin, yeah? Let's knock this down real quick. There we go. We got a whole nother cave here, y'all. Oh, I just have enough to get this. Alright, let's explore this cave, yeah? Ooh, I was feeling hotter than usual in my spacesuit. And when I looked down, the ground was on fire. I panicked, but a red Pikmin just gave me a sidelong glance, totally unfazed, even as the fire licked at them. They're clearly capable of more than just skillful attacks. 
Oh, it's one of these. Ew. It's one of these maps, guys. Ew. We got these flying dudes over here. We got... Um... I don't know what that is. It's a squash thing. Looks like spam with seaweed on there. <laughs> we got some yellow paint. How do I get you? Here we go. It's an eraser, guys. A chalk eraser. Look how dusty that thing is. On to the next level. So we got these uh, very overdone marshmallows. <laughs> Roasted marshmallows. Whoa, look at this satanic ritual of a place. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Jesus, don't panic, everybody. Jeez. I forgot that I don't have, you know, the scorch suit. My bad. Only Ochi has that luxury of walking on fire. <laughs> Ooh, look at that diamond encrusted macaron. Whoa, what are you? You're a Krabby Patty. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on now. Hold <laughs> this guy's scary. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not get flattened. Okay. Wow. Wow, you are an interesting little fella. Oh, I don't know if he's little, but he's an interesting fella, all right. <laughs> he was like a lava cake, wasn't he? And we got a cookie. Someone just left their snacks in this cave. <laughs> all right, here I come for the rescue. Oh, 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 what? Get rid of you. All right, give me the status. What's his ID badge say? Petunia. Highly focused and intelligent. Yeah, look at them intelligent eyes. <laughs> she joined the team to investigate mysterious creatures through her unconventional methods. Interesting. Ouchie. To investigate mysterious creatures, she must have come to study the Pikmin and other unusual wildlife here. Oh, this was the final level, y'all. Wow, that was really short-lived, wasn't it? I enjoyed it, though. All right, we rescued one person, Potonya. And we got all these fabulous things. Mostly all of them were like food, except for these two. We got this deceptive snack, elimination goo, dusty bed, <laughs> daughter of the earth, SS chocolate, cookie of nibbled circles, and 11 creatures. Nice job. Well done. Well done, everybody. Ooh, we got two people today. I totally forgot about the other dude. <laughs> Complete. Great adventure series. Huh. A hole? What is this star-shaped metal? Well, hey. Russ tinkered with the appraisal AI. Now you'll be able to see when you've collected all the treasures in a series. There's a resonance in the wave patterns for treasures of the same type that lets us extract even more sparklium. Oh. Can't say that I get the science behind it, but it sounds like we should try to collect complete series. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Let's go all the way back here. Let's look at... This mysterious carriage. <laughs> Cinderella reference. Satellite shield, temporal mechanism, double dragon eye scope. No. I don't get it. Why do we fight? And why does everything have to be a competition? What the? Is something the matter, boss? Pardon? Nah, just a passing thought I had while watching that dandery battle. It just strikes me as sad. Here we are all living together and sharing the same universe. We should be friends, not foes. Yeah. Makes sense. But then shouldn't we and uh, you be friends with all the creatures of the universe as well? Oh. Creatures? No, no, no. That's an entirely different situation. Yes, me and spiders, we do not get along. Unless you're jumping spiders. Y'all are cute. Oh, look at you, Petunia. Oh. Rescue Corp. 
Is there someone who needs rescuing? I don't recall seeing anything. No, sir. I'm what? Oh, I'm a castaway? Huh, I was so busy looking around at the flora here, I had no idea. You and Kingsley both love the flowers here. Uh -huh. I've been watching you two progress, and you've inspired me to create a new training course. You see, when you're plucking pigment sprouts, I believe Ochi can help if he learns pluck. I've also added some training to beef up his dig skill so he can dig faster than ever. Nice! Yeah, I definitely want him to pluck with me. <laughs> so we're gonna get that. Let's make him learn chomp. Okay, well, why don't we buff him up one more time? There we go. Well, 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 you mastered buff. I knew you could do it, Ochi. That means I'm giving a permission to learn on even more powerful skills. Super buff. What? Super buff? Whoa, the strength of 20 Pikmin? Atta boy. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. You put everything you had into that training. What a good boy, Ochi. Yes, you are. Now I have a special treat for you. Oh, yeah, we can feed him the treats now. Here you go. This one. Yes, you cutie. I'm determined to 100% this. And get that blue onion, dang it. We're gonna get it. For some reason, we got another yellow onion? <gasps> Guys! That blue onion's not in the water anymore! Wow, did you see that? The onion fused again. But it didn't change color. Hmm. I suppose if we already have an onion of the same color, the new one just gets turned into nutrients. Oh wait, I see it in the distance. It is still in the water. It just wasn't in <laughs> it just wasn't in the water in that cutscene for some reason. Dang. We got a cave over here. Don't mind if I do. Let's go in this. I found a hole that should lead out to the top of the mountain, but the inside was more convoluted than expected, and only now do I see a light at the end of the tunnel. If I ever make it out of this place, I'll deserve a good rest. <laughs> Quaferius Summit. Ooh, that sounds very water-like. I think we're gonna find more blue Pikmin in here. Oh, this has got to be my favorite type of map where it's all zen like. Oh, it's a card. Oh, it has a crane on it this time. All right. That was it in here. It just wanted me to have some ice pigment. We got a little puzzle piece here. We got a red crane this time. <laughs> Look at this little guy just hanging on there by himself. Daddy. Let's see the ID info. No. Oh, you know who this is? It's- Oh, it's the doctor! Yoni, a doctor who lives for discovering and solving unusual cases. He jumps at every chance to test his experimental medicines. Dude, we've been looking for you for so long. All right, we found another rescue officer. Yoni is a talented doctor with a wealth of knowledge. With his skills, he can treat any injuries or illnesses that come our way. I'll bet he can even do something about the leafling castaways. That means our pilot is the only one of us still missing. Please continue your search. We found the doctor, y'all. Nice. You rescued our doctor, Yoni. Let's ask him to examine a leafling when he wakes up. Our pilot, Bernard, might be one after all. Cool, we found the doctor. Thank goodness he's not one of the leaflings because that would have been real bad. Oh, well, short and sweet. But hey, we found the doctor in here. Yoni. Hello. Look at all these goodies. We got a talisman of life, the crane, memory fragment, top left, skin of the phoenix, and ten nuggets. Investigation complete. Whoa, guys, look! 
Look, it's one of them swollen hedgehogs. Let's move the base over. Push this down. We're completely in a different area. I think we, yeah, we got pushed up, didn't we? Get him, get him, get him! Oh no! Oh no! I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're mine, you swollen hedgehog. Oh! Heck yeah! Oops, oops, oops. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Dang, you just go feral. What is it, Ochi? Are you a happy pup? Wow, look how excited he is. The silly boy inhaled some of that ultra spicy spray, but it doesn't seem to be hurting him. It just looks like he's brimming with extra energy. Oh, there's a peanut over here. Y'all, I am going to challenge that dancing purple little leaf laying over there. Right here. Prepare to meet your doom, guy. You're not safe from me. Look at him. He's just so happy. Is that one of the castaways with leaves growing out of their head? Dandery, dandery. <laughs> Dude, I wonder if that's Louie. They ducked into that hole. Perhaps the leafiness causes disorientation? Rescue them quickly, Ochi and Vaughn. Oh, don't you know it. This place is for testing dandery. Do more dandery. Improve dandery. Simple goal. Carry as much as you can. Until time ends. That is all. <laughs> Treasure here, all fake. You cannot carry home. Pikmin here, all mine. Also, cannot take home. Okay. <laughs> this means can dandere forever. This is bliss for me and for you. Do well. Get raw material. Do not well. Also get raw material. Uh, okay. <laughs> you wish to take me from here. Show me your best dandere. Okay, dude. <laughs> Come, time for dandery. Oof! Oh my gosh, Ochi, he just went flying! You okay? <laughs> oh, you're crazy, pup. This guy's just watching me. He just enjoys this. Get everything there, guys. Come on. You can do this. Oh god, I won't be getting everything! Dang it! Ugh, how frustrating. Ugh, I'm only silver. <laughs> you work too fast, I feel dizzy. <laughs> Take these. 30 pieces of raw material, this is your reward. Oh, cool. So we can get them now. Oh my, they fainted. I wonder what caused that. Well, I guess this is our chance to get them out of here. <laughs> With all that leaf growth, there's no way to tell who this is. But it doesn't matter. It's our job to rescue them. We don't want them finding their way back inside that cave. Let's keep the lid closed as a precaution. Maybe Russ will have more success getting their ID information. Nah. Huh? Does this mean that when someone becomes a leafling, their biometric authentication data becomes unreadable? If even science is unable to solve this problem, then I'm afraid I'm at a loss. That's why we have the doctor with us. He can figure it out to cure these guys. Oh, there's a big old freaking dragon fruit there. How could I miss that? What? You guys left this peanut here. What in the world? Oh yeah, get that thing here. Get it here. There we go. Ochi, let's go. I want you to get this onion. Dang it, he can't get it. Oh, this is so frustrating. Well guys, I think that onion right there is the main reason why I cannot 100% this map. Because look, I'm at 97% here, but I'm 
I got everything. I don't think there's any treasure left on this map. So it's left me thinking, huh, maybe it's just the onion right there that it's, you know, preventing me from 100%ing this place, which is so infuriating because it was a mistake, me bringing it into the water. Gosh. But I, I think I, it's safe to say that I 100%ed this place besides that getting that onion. Cool, look at that. Two more people. All these treasures. Snack bean, <laughs> I like that. Fire breathing feast. That's pretty good. Yoni's back. Captain, seems like we're making progress. Okay? Well done, Bond. So, where is he then? We need to discuss the leafling situation as soon as possible. Um, the thing is, after the forced sleep mode was lifted, he kind of went right back to sleep. Wait, what? <laughs> I think he'd been examining a plant that only appears at night, so he was pretty sleep deprived. Seriously? He was out walking around at night here? It's ridiculously dangerous. I suppose I should be grateful that he's still alive. Huh? That's strange. I put a bottle right here. Where did it... Dingo! You didn't drink that liquid... <laughs> you didn't drink that liquid that was sitting right here, did you? Did you? Ooh. Hey, don't shout at me like that. But yeah, I was thirsty and he was right there, so I gave it a try. Who cares? Well, that was the medicinal ingredient that Yoni was using in his experiments. And you never thought to mention that until now? Ugh, why do I suddenly feel very hot? Are you alright? Maybe you should go lie down too, Dingo. I suggest we put this meeting on hold for the time being. You should be caught up on everything now, Yoni. According to Dingo, this castaway may just be our pilot. Let me think. The primary symptom is the growing of leaves, yes? If that is the case, then I believe we may be able to cure them. While stranded, I discovered a bewitched specimen called Luminol. <laughs> it only appears in the dark of night. When dawn breaks, it releases a sap quite high in degradative enzymes. I believe I can make a medicine out of those secretions so I can break down the newly grown leaves. No. Huh? For real? I mean, cool. But then they'll find out I just left Bernard behind. Uh oh. What? Dingo! Alas, our friend Dingo here consumed all the sap that I previously collected. So, new blood will have to perform some night expeditions to harvest the medicinal ingredients for us. Whoa, really? We get to go out at night? That never happens. Oh, it's nothing to lose sleep over, except in the literal sense. <laughs> Find me later, and I'll teach you all you need to know about night expeditions. No. Excellent. Thanks to Yoni, it sounds like we have a solution to our leafling dilemma. Oh. Now everyone to your stations, please. Perfect. Copy that, Captain. Oh, that is so interesting. Oh. Night expeditions? Well, hello there, new blood. It'll be nice to have a fresh subject around here. <laughs> Since we'll be working together, you can just call me Yoni. No sense wasting valuable research time. I need you to go out at on some night expeditions for me. I want you to harvest extracts from the luminols that I use as medicinal ingredients. It's only possible at night. I could go on, but you should just see it for yourself. Let me know when you're ready for a nighttime adventure. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. All right, well, I'm not gonna do that in this episode because I've been recording for quite some time, but Wow, that leaves me so excited to play some more in the next video. As always, thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know the whole shebang. You know how it is. You know. And I'll see you next time. Bye.